Hi folks, uh, this is my basement, usually you always see me with no lights on, but I decided to put lights on because it does put a strain on my eyes and I do need to keep them a little bit rested in regards to my activities later on tonight. Uh, that's going to be my radio station in about mm, two hours, give or take. I like to be there at least a good uh, 15 minutes in advance if I can, just so I can bring up my French selected materials so I can play it without having to run because there's nothing worse than having to go and pick up your discs as you're trying to do your show and you have less than two, three, or four minutes and you know that you have a few titles in mind and you're trying to make up your mind. Anyways, uh, just wanted to let you guys know that as promised, here's a review for Twilight with me and Mitch. I hope you have a nice one and keep your eyes peeled. I have more material for you from my radio station uh, tomorrow. Or late, well, tomorrow, uh, past midnight anyways here. <laughs> Have a nice one. Good morning. Hope you had a nice evening. And we're going to be bringing you guys over to uh, see New Moon as part of the review. We'll soon see if it's worth our expenditure money. Uh, but either way, I'm not a New Moon fanatic, but I'm definitely not an enemy. So I'll talk to you guys soon. We'll uh, keep you uh, involved in this as much as possible. And we'll talk to you later. And... Yeah, we were just talking to you. She's selling a ticket half price, yeah. Here I am standing in line with the rest of the people for probably a new moon. <laughs> <laughs> These girls find it funny. <laughs> I'm just looking for the guy that was supposed to stand in line for us, but I don't think that he's outside. I think he probably took refuge with the crowded pack of people right inside those doors. So, this one's in here. Is it worth the lineup, Mitch? We'll see. Okay. We'll see. Yeah, I went looking for a copy of Think of Destiny at a Superstore Big Surprise. You had nothing that I've seen. <laughs> we stand in, in line with crutches, and she decided to do the smart thing and rush her way in, which is actually quite uh, an athletic performance. But here we are. And it's already okay. filling up. No. No. It's okay, I'm already in. And uh, even if you can't see the lights, at the very least you can still see me or hear me. But we're making our way up to the top rafters of our seating arrangements. Just for the hell of being able to come. This is going to be grand. Where right here. Is it? Right here? With, first. with easy access to the stairs. Right here? Oh. Uh, well, I don't, yeah. <laughs> now that we're here sitting, we're not even going to attempt trying to make our way to anyone else. I have to listen to this to, to this small gag Mitch made about uh, the competition of Christmas shopping versus going to a movie theater. Oh, just one second. That's not a trip to people but walking by. I think I've 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 stumbled over for now and then we're, we're noise in here. Because this is an eleven fifty AM AM matinee on a Saturday. And it's actually looking like it might actually sell out. This is the first time I've seen that in years. And what I'm thinking what might have actually happened is that all the Christmas shoppers went as one to the malls. The malls filled up too quickly. They were bounced at the doors that said, full up, fuck off, come come back later, movies that way. And they're coming in here to wait. Wouldn't that be just nasty if that actually existed? <laughs> so I know, we're just waiting right now. And uh, well, we'll see what happens. I have to drive Mitch over to his workplace, not immediately after, but I've offered to give him a lift so he wouldn't have to feel as if his world is suddenly rushing to an end. But, uh... Oh, look, a hole! <laughs> yeah, that would be 2012, right? Yeah. Well, no, it, a hole would be a great big canyon of right between your feet. It's like, it's like, oh shit! Ah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Then the whole city gets stuck in after you. Anyways, this is where we shut this thing off for you guys. Because there's nothing where I'll be able to actually make the sound systems now kicked in. I have a nice one, and we'll talk to you guys a bit later. Just came out, and as you can see, there's actually a lineup inside for the next showing. The movie is two hours long. It was actually damn good. I got one for emotional vampire soft stories, but I do enjoy going for something interesting. What? Hey folks, uh, as I promised, here's the review. Well, the movie was actually nice. They went to the city of Monte Pucciliano in Italy. If I pitched that name, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure we have. You think? Yeah, it's, it's like right now, if any Italians watch this watch online, they're going, That's not how you fucking pronounce it, it's Monte Pucciliano. Anyways, as he was trying to say, it's been filmed in Italy and it was also filmed in the city of Siena. Although, by the way they were describing it, I think that was also in Italy. Um, and also in the city of Vancouver, or at least in the wooded parts of BC. So once more, uh, the movie itself was actually enjoyable. Uh, he's read the books. Mm -hmm. I haven't. So he knows all the story, and unfortunately, once more, it's Hollywood dangling the carrot on the stick in front of our faces. <laughs> the movie ends in a way that we'd rather not have it end. I won't say more, otherwise I'll be spoiling it for you. But the one beef for me about the movie was that in 3D effects, they didn't really do uh, a bad job but they could have polished it to give her a nicer sheen in regards to the final finish. Yeah, like uh, when you don't bother to have everything actually blend in with what's around it and it stands out like uh, a little sock puppet in the foreground, like, Hi, I'm CGI! <laughs> I Not cost much money, but we had, to, we had to cut back on the budget, so we didn't bother polishing anything to blend in. So, I'm bright green, this is gray. Try not to notice. It wasn't that bad. Actually, no. it's just that me and him, we have an affinity in regards to uh, CGI animation, anything that's 3D modeling. I don't do it, but we've studied about it. He's a freak for it, so am I. Uh, but we also have a thing about it not being properly done. And they left, I'd say they did 99%, but the 1%, unfortunately, uh, we were feeling it. Yes. So anyways... Uh, go see it. It's worth the time and the investment in money. Uh, the movie theater actually, uh, the it wasn't full capacity. I'd say probably half. And uh, we were lucky enough that the people were laughing along with the punchlines and jokes that they added into the film. But it's, it was nice to see it. Uh, one word to the wise, though, to the men that don't want to see this for the love story that it is, Go see it for the action, go see it for the intrigue, go see it for the fact that you actually get to see the Volturi and get to see uh, some intrigue from inside the inner workings of the vampire uh, capital. Monarchy, whatever. Uh, I guess we can probably say it's the same as the Vatican, but for vampires. The only reason they're considered royalty at all in the books, which wasn't mentioned in the film, is because they're some of the most powerful and oldest living vampires alive. Or undead, whichever way. Yeah, as he said. Like I said, he's read the books, I haven't. So anyways, in regards to it, uh, what are you standing around listening to me for? Just go, for God's sakes. You'll actually enjoy it. Yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs>